I'm Rhoda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm glad you're joining us for this fat burning, metabolism boosting, hybrid HIIT workout. We're going to take compound moves and then we're going to put all those compound moves together at the end of each circuit right before we do a round of HIIT cardio. So burn fat, boost metabolism. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's get you warmed up. We're gonna swing the arms, knees up. Pull the tummy tight. Let's get the core warmed up as well. Total body, hybrid. We're gonna take compound moves and we're gonna build three moves into one element of a circuit. So, three compound exercises, 40 seconds each, and then forward and back here. Then, we combine all three for a 60 second burn, and at the end of that, we'll add a little fat burning, low impact cardio. So, a lot of fun, a lot going on. My job is to get you through it. You just follow along, try and enjoy yourself, I know, my idea of enjoyment, right? Happening in here. But I promise you, at the end of this workout, 30 minutes, you're gonna feel like you worked everything. And that's what we want. Good. Now, I'm gonna, most of this workout, I'll be using heavier weights, but for this first round, I'm going light. I'm gonna grab my five pounds. We're gonna start with a deadlift to a fly, palms facing each other. Weight in your heels, little bend in the knees, down to right below the knees once we're there, out to the side. So a little bend in those arms, back down, and up. Going in two, and one. Here we go. Down, lift down, do you fly? Come on up. Keep going. So compound move here. Upper and lower working together. Some compound moves will be all upper body or lower, but this particular one, Got focus on lower body, core, and the upper back, mid back around the spine. And one lighter because these are long levers. In other words, the weight's traveling far away from the body. So it makes that weight a little heavier. Good. All right, we have a 10 second transition. We're going to a high row. Weight comes down. Front raise, okay? Deep breath, here we go. Pull, and then lift. Now think about the shoulders. Top of the shoulder, keep those shoulders down as you lift, work in the front of the shoulders there. Lift, and raise. So two different moves, compound move. So we work multiple muscles. These muscles happen to be in the shoulder, but we're working more than one. Do I have picked up lighter weights here? I'm away from the body. That's hard. Good. All right. Transitioning 10 seconds to an alternating lunge back. As you go back, you're going to do a side raise. Or you can tap back. So here's your modification. Tap. Tap. Or come with me. You can do the lunges. The bending feels fine. With lunges, shoulders stay back. Weight is in the back toe, down and up, okay? You should keep your body weight back. Don't lean over that front knee. Feel those shoulders? Ooh. Oh yeah. Stay with me, come on. When we combine all these, it'll actually be easier because we'll get a rest between each move. All right, are you ready? Now lift to fly, and we come on up. We do our front raise and front row and raise, right? And then our real lunge. So here we go. Now lift down, do your fly. Bring it up, high row, raise to the front, rear lunge, other side, rear lunge. Take it down, down lift, do your fly. Come on up, high row, front raise, 
Now side raises with your rear tap or rear lunge. Just keep going with me, following along. Here we go, from the top, your left, up, pull, raise, take it back with that side raise. Heart rate's coming up, you feel it? That is a really cool thing about combination work. All these muscles want the same thing, they want oxygen. You're saying, help, <laughs> help me. So, bring it down, the heart, he's telling the lungs, for me the oxygen, I'm gonna pump it out as fast as I can. So that's how your heart rate goes up. All right, we need to stand onto our cardio element. So, we're gonna jab, cross, back kick. So, jab, cross, back kick, just like that. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Jab, cross, back kick. Jab, cross, back kick, just like that. Low impact, high intensity. Put power into these moves, those power moves. You can put real power here. That gets your heart rate up too. You should feel it coming up above where it was with that compound strength. 30 seconds here. And rest. All right, other side. Deep breath. I give you a long rest here, 20 seconds. We want that heart rate to come down because hit high intensity interval. We want those intervals. And it gives you a little rest. Get ready to punch and cross. Here we go. Jab, cross, back, jab. Cross, back, feel the power, jab, cross. Fun little secret, we'll figure it out along the way. Our cardio is all about some punching and kicking. Kickboxing, getting some stress out, bringing the heart rate up, and having a little fun, right? None of the moves are too, too difficult, combination-wise, it's more about just using that power to boost the heart rate. All right, this next one, I am gonna challenge myself with my heavier weights. I may have to bail out, I hope not. We're starting with a wide squat, wide squat to hammer curl. So palms face each other, coming down, keep those elbows close to the body, hammer curl, take it back up. Now we're gonna be wide for this one. So a lot of inner outer thighs here. Here we go, take it down. Hammer curl, sit back in your heels there. Don't roll into your toes. Sit back in the heels. Engage more muscles to control the move. When you go into your toes, now you're bringing it forward into your knees. We don't want to do that. The knees are bothering you. Take a lot of the bend out. Just even a little bit. You're still engaging those muscles while you keep your knees safe. But wide squats tend to be easier on the knees, just the direction of where those knees are pointing. They're not pointing forward, they're kind of going out. All right, so keeping this wide stance, we're gonna do a side lunge, we're gonna row in the lunge, come on up, and then we go to the other side. Ready, here we go. Take it over, do a row, come on up, other side. About weight in the heels. One leg is straight here, unlike that squat, right? Leaning into that one knee. Take the bend out, maybe a hinge from the waist. You need to protect the knees. And still do these moves, just, just back out of them a little bit. Decrease the bend on those knees. And a lot of these, our upper body, so if you need to take the bend out completely, you can. All right, so we're staying right here. Going into a wide deadlift. Hips way back, weight close to your body. You're gonna row down here with the palms facing your knees. Here we go, down, pull. So this is the back of your shoulder. We've hit the front and top of the shoulder last round. Now, we're getting the back. Nothing like pretty sculpted shoulders. They really make everything look good. This series is all about getting ready for the holidays. Because they're coming faster than we know, than we expect, right? So, anytime 
time we get to mid-November and the holidays begin, you can be looking great with a new party photo, sleeveless dresses, shoulders are going to look awesome. All right, from the top, combining all three, palms facing each other, deadlift hammer, okay, start there, ready, deadlift, hammer, come up, let's go to your right, lean and row, come up, lean and row, bring it up, wide deadlift, pull, and up, down in your squat, hammer curl, to your right, lean and row, other side, lean and row, back up, wide deadlift, row in that deadlift, there we go, in the deadlift, palms are facing you, so that you get that shoulder, you pull straight up to the front of your shoulder, so right here, down, straight up to the shoulder, and take it down, hammer curl, bring it up, side lunge, do a row, other side, and row, take it down, back of the shoulder, come on up, and rest, yay you, we did it, what do you think of how this works? side kick. So let's punch your right arm over, bring it in, side kick. You stay on that side. Three, two, one. Here we go. Punch it, kick it, punch, kick. Now, abs are tight here, power on the punch. Punch it, power on the kick. Boom. That power, you can say that last round, increases your intensity without impacting joints here. It's a good work. This one shows up a lot in my kickboxing videos. I like getting side kicks because of what they're sculpting right there, right? We want that to look good. We want it all to look good. So that's the goal. All right. Heart rate comes down. That hit interval. When you do hit, it's as if your heart rate stayed up the whole time, but you get these little rests. So right now I want you to work hard. Let's go. Okay. Power. Punch it. Kick it. And you're not to kick as high as I am. You kick low. Really good. You go high. I think I'll go right in the middle. I'm gonna fall over here. Come on, one more. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, I want you to have your 30 seconds rest because I want that heart rate to come down before we start to build it up again. I'm sticking with my heavier weights. I have a lot of abs in this one and a lot of glutes. We're going to start. Curtsy lunge down. Come up. Lean to the side of the leg that moved. Other side down. And lean the other way. So we'll go back with your right leg first. Deep breath. Here we go. Take it back. Curtsy. Come on up. Your right. Curtsy. Bring it up. Lean left. Keep going. Getting glutes. Getting obliques. That's your waistline. See how this is total body? We're going to be looking great. Just stay with me. Stay with this series. It's going to be fun. One more side, come on. We've got the time. Let's balance it out. And over, good. All right, this next one, I'm just holding my weight to my side. We are doing rear lunge, do a kick, foot down, other side, rear lunge. Here we go, right side. Take it back, come up with a kick, or tap it back, bring it through with a kick. Those are your options. Don't go so deep in the lunge. You need to protect the knees. If you can get a little bend, do what you can. Not saying it's automatically going to happen, depending on why your knees hurt. But if you can strengthen those muscles around that area, perhaps we can get you going deeper in this lunge. If it's an athletic thing, it'll be a little more difficult. But that's what we want to try to do. 
and rest. All right, with the heavy weights, suitcase swing. So all we're doing, swinging like that and up. I want you to use a little bit of body momentum here. Ready? Bring it back. Drop through the heels. Now, hips back, flat back. Drive it up, hips forward, squeeze the glutes. When you take the bend out, you can still do the swing. Squeeze the glutes right there. Adding the bend just increases the intensity a little bit. If your knees are good with it. Great. Oops, watch yourself. I just bought my knee. I didn't want to do that. So this working core, total core here, front and back. You're swinging this weight far away from the body, so balance. Your body has to balance. Or you would fall forward or backwards, right? You don't want that. So we train balance on this channel regularly because that is the most important element, I think, as we age. Get ready for your curtsies. Curtsy, come up, lean. Other side. Up and lean. Touch back on one back kick. And go to the other side, lunge back. Kick, whoo, there it is. So you can swing down, up, and back down. Curtsy, up, lean, other side. Lean, no lunge kick. Other side. Use that suitcase. Swing it back, up, go to jam. Curtsy. Up and lean. Other side. And then lean, rear lunge kick. We'll get through all of this here. And swing it. Let's stay with the swing. Just swing with me. Through the end here. Good. We would not have made it through the entire hybrid move had we started. So then we just get a few more swings. Okay, we're gonna jab to your right. So it's jab, 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 cross, speed bag to turn. Okay? Here we go. Move with me. Jab, jab, jab and cross, speed bag, turn. Here we go. Jab. Jab, jab, and cross. Speed bag, turn it. Jab, 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 cross. Speed bag, and turn. Jab, 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 and cross. Speed bag, as you turn. Good. One, two, three, and cross. Speed bag, arms up. One, two, three, cross. Speed bag, get those arms up if you can. One, two, three, and cross. Give me the speed bag. And <laughs> awesome job. Okay, high low. So we're gonna punch high, think about making an X. Punch low. Now, come down low here. So it's a low block. Get low if you can, otherwise you're gonna come down like this. Okay, ready? Hop on your toes if you can for this top part. Up, down, up, down. Stay with me here. Power, 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 power. Power matters. You are beginning, you keep your feet down, hinge forward, hinge forward. Almost there. And I hope you feel that. Great job. We're getting there. I'm proud of you. This is an awesome workout. A lot going on. I'm going to one of my heavy weights now. Going with a good morning, similar to the deadlift and the wide deadlift, but elbows are out, weight is behind your head. Feet are forward, hinging forward, drive through your heels, up, squeeze the glutes, okay? Deep breath. We're on the clock, here we go. Take it down, bring it up. You can hear me breathing out this microphone right by my mouth. I am breathing a little heavy, which is good. All right, so weight is here. So we're set up now for a tricep overhead extension. I want you to bring those elbows in. Push it up and down. Get ready. 
Here we go. Feel the back of the arm work. That problem area. Well, we all want to work it. But I got to tell you, you know, there is a thing called gravity. And this channel is for women over 40. And gravity's been working on us for 40 or more years, right? So, you're going to have a little wobble, probably, in the lower part of your arm as you stick it out to the side. Even if you get your triceps nice and toned. But, your triceps are nice and toned, it's going to pull that area in and make it less obvious. Good. All right. You take this weight, we're going to chop. Chop one side, come up, up, and lead with the end of the weight. So it's chop and up. Get ready. Here we go. Right side. Chop. Bring it up. Other side. Twist with this. We're getting the inner obliques on the waistline here. So we got hits it all. Follow the weight with your eyes. A nice twist going. You will feel it in the core. Sideways, bring it back up, and down this way with the medium weight. 
This move right here is what I gotta gauge my weight to. I have my 12 pounds right now. I struggle probably with form right there. And I want my form to be good because that's gonna hit those muscles the proper way. Doesn't mean I want you to use such a light weight that you don't feel it. But finding that middle ground, getting the strength work, and you're controlling the move. And rest. All right, next move. Weight is up, feet are up, dead bug. Alternating arm goes over and up. Now, if you're just starting out, here we go. Just starting out, I want you to just do the legs, keep the weight right here. That'll be enough for you. If you can add the overhead, because you've been working out a while, so it's challenging. Be nice when we get a little break and do the hybrid. Only have to do one each side, and then we get to move on.
So follow me, okay? Don't do what I did. Do what I do now. Because that way, you're going to get to my age and you're going to feel good. Or if you are my age, you're going to protect those joints as we move even farther forward. Now, reach up and over. That was a long video for this channel. Long workout, I should say. Because I like to keep it to 30 minutes. Let's do a hip flexor. So I guess my point is, this is going to be a short stretch. At the end of the stretch, you will see my stretch playlist. Come onto the screen. You can kick, reach to your toe here. You can click on that and do a longer stretch. There are lots of there to choose from and there'll be more soon because I'm going to work on more stretches. Let's go to the other side. Come on out. Hit flexor. And take it back. Reach your toe. forward, pat yourself on the back for finishing with me. Nice job. What did you think of the workout? Leave me comments. I want to know. Did you like that format? Would you like to see it again? Did you hate it? That's okay. Let me know. Other side. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed. We're growing every single day. It's so exciting to get up every morning and see that more women are joining us. Take a deep breath. Exhale. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening. I'm glad you did this workout with me. Please come back and I'll see you next time.